welcome to the new year and hello from Marco Island, Florida. Hey, I'm really feeling a little bad about you guys and the weather you're having up north. Uh, I'm sitting on a pier here and the temperature is about 75 degrees. Uh, I saw the newscast this morning and I think it's 75 below in Chicago and you're getting a ton of snow. But anyway, uh, we've got a new chapter to start with, uh, chapter five, and this is going to build on what we learned in chapter four when we talked about uh, specific problems related to uh, the CDP model, capacity, and other strategic decisions. And a, a big factor as it relates to this, the CBP model is the selling price. And so in this, the first part of this particular chapter, we're going to talk about selling price and what determines the selling price that a typical business will set. Uh, as you saw in, uh, in many of the calculations that we've done in the past, uh, selling price has a major impact on the ultimate profitability of a company. So selling price is involved in things like uh, or related to things like the types of customers you serve, the competitors, uh, legal issues, as well as your uh, as well as your cost structure. So let's uh, let's get started. Let's see what uh, what this chapter has to uh, deliver for us. So in terms of primary influences of selling price. The first is is customers. Uh, the customer perspective is probably the most important because selling price should relate to the value a customer receives. I mean, think about it on you know, any purchase you make. Uh, you're willing to pay more for something if you get significant value from it. You're willing to pay, you're not willing to pay as much if the value is not as high. Uh, the second factor is the competitor. Uh, you know, the and this has to do with the learning and growth perspective. Competitors ultimately influence how much you can charge. Uh, for instance, Apple can't charge you know ten thousand dollars for its iPhones because it's got a strong competitor in Samsung which forces it to keep its smartphone prices at competitive levels. And then, of course, you have legal and social forces. Um, legal, legal things related to you know, federal government mandates or state and local government mandates may influence the prices you choose. For instance, utilities. Um, you know, in, in the Chicagoland area, Common ComEd, Commonwealth Edison, cannot raise the price of electricity without getting the approval of the uh, state board of uh, utilities. Uh, and then last but not least is cost. Uh, you know, you, you can't price a particular product uh, on a whim. You have to look at your cost structure to determine uh, what would be a reasonable amount to uh, increase your price over cost in order to make a profit because as we as we've talked about before the only reason a business exists is to make a profit if it doesn't make a profit um, it dials 1-800 peter francis deracy okay so Let's uh, let's expand a little bit here on the external market influences of selling prices. You know, first is pure competition, and by that meaning that um, uh, the market ultimately determines the price, the selling price uh, of the of a particular product, and this is a combination of both customers and competitors. Uh, individual companies uh, are monopolistic sometimes if they own a particular market. Um, here's a 
here's a shot of a, of a Monopoly board. If, if you've ever played Monopoly, you know, if you, uh, if you purchase all the real estate and railroads and utilities, you're in a pretty good position. In essence, you pretty much won the game. And that, uh, that is a particular type of competition uh, where there is basically one, uh, maybe two competitors that are typically controlling the whole setup. Uh, there's another con there's another type of competition which is called a oligopoly. Uh, that's a big a big word. Uh, it has a, a uh, Greek derivation. Uh, but by when you talk about an oligopoly, you're talking about very few companies, maybe two or three, controlling the selling price. Uh, you know, to some extent, you, you might look at Coke and Pepsi as being uh, in, an oligo in an oligopoly type uh, situation, since, you know, they have dominant market shares in the, um, in the cola marketplaces. Uh, you know, in this particular case, the government is very concerned and they will monitor, um, they will monitor the market very, very closely. Uh, Monopoly, as we talked about, is basically one company controls the market and the selling price. Uh, you know, and a good example of this again is utility. Utilities like ComEd, they basically have a monopoly for electric, uh, consumption in the um, in the northern Illinois marketplace uh, but the government pretty much has control over any type of price change and if uh, if comment would like to make a, ch a price change they have to get it approved by that particular uh, uh, price utility commission in the state of Illinois okay but let's let's talk a little bit about the different types of pricing, uh, penetration pricing, for instance, versus predatory pricing. Uh, penetration pricing basically says, "Hey, we're going to set a really low initial selling price of our product so that we can entice as many customers as we can." in order to uh, build a customer base. Um, new companies will sometimes do this, especially if they're interested in uh, getting a lot of market share, uh, you know, controlling the market very, very, uh, very, very quickly. On the other hand, there is something called predatory pricing. Uh, and predatory pricing is setting a low initial selling price so you drive competitors out of the market. Um, Walmart has been accused of this uh, you know in the past and uh, has actually been taking the task on this where they'll come into a market um, and open up a store and because their prices are so low they literally drive the other competitors you know the mom and pop shops out of the market. Uh, and so they companies have filed suit against them and say that they're they're using predatory pricing tactics. They're setting low, slow selling prices to drive out competition, which is uh, which is illegal. So um, we're going to stop here, guys. Uh, um, and we'll start back up at another time.